this, Coach? <sighs> Adjust your stance a little bit, Terrence. Like this? Got it. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. How many people here have tried to get places alone and failed sometimes? And then you look back after many, 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 many failures, like myself, and you see that you could have easily got a lot farther if you just had some of my help. I know I realize that after so long. It took some years. I'm not that old but it took some years. How many people here have had a coach before? Good amount of people, I like that. How many people have been a coach before? Good. I have had the pleasure of being a coach and being coached. And being coached has made me a better coach. Because now, I can see what works and what doesn't work. Why are we all here? Because we want to get better, right? We want to get better at public speaking. Everybody here tonight, you could have been doing anything else. I don't know if there's any sports on tonight, but I'm sure you could have found something better to do. But you're here trying to improve. Now, what is a coach? Coach is an individual who helps other individuals hone and sharpen a specific skill set. People hire coaches for specific things. They want to get better, like my demonstration. Baseball coaching, in case you guys didn't get that. Um, they get better at coaching by getting coached. We have the formal definition of a coach now. But I'm sure you guys are wondering, Terrence, formal definition, nice and cool. But what do they do and how can they help men? One, a coach helps their clients achieve their desired goals. All of us have goals. Most of us start on January 1st or whatever year that is. Then about three weeks later, we fall off. And then maybe about six months later, you try to hop back on that train, and then you stumble right back off, and next thing you know, it's January 1st of that following you, and you're starting that wheel all over again. Coach helps you get past that. Coach has also helped you implement positive changes in your life. We all need that. Coaches help you overcome obstacles. Everybody on this planet goes through some type of obstacle at some point. Some of us are better at dealing with them than others. Some of us need help. It's better to ask for help and get past it because you get farther, right? Mm -hmm. Also, coaches help you stay accountable. If you don't have anybody pushing you and being in your corner and questioning you why you're not at a certain point, after you said that you would be, the team time, you won't never get to that goal. Coaching for me, when I've been coached, has been very humbling. I can be very confident, or some people call it cocky. <laughs> Difference of opinion. <laughs> but when you're coached, it gives you a chance to be humble. But you grow from it, and you get better. My idea of coaching is, if I lost my keys, I know that after, I, can, I know I can find them. I know with enough time I can find them. But sometimes you have to enlist a second set of eyes to help you, to get it done quicker. When you're coached, you learn how to receive effective feedback. And when you coach people, you learn how to give effective feedback, because that's important. But the biggest thing with coaching is to remember your input is your output. 
Whatever you put in is what you're going to get out. It's your responsibility. When people come to me about something like fitness, fitness and health, I try to tell them, if you want results, then you need to do this, this, and this. Eat healthy, work out, get a good night's sleep, drink water, don't eat out every day, don't eat McDonald's. <laughs> And you get the good results that come out of it. But the inverse, you put in bad stuff, you get bad results. Recently, I had a coaching client and he wanted help with public speaking. Ironic, right? <laughs> so I helped him. And some of the things that we went through, I asked him, what does he want? What does he want to accomplish? And what does he think some of the challenges are to, that are stopping him from accomplishing that? He told me. Then he did his speech. I listened. I watched. I gave him feedback. I gave him effective feedback, and I gave him tips that would help him get better. And then we did this over and over again until we ironed out the details. And the thing that he was working towards, he got. To me, coaching is also like taking a shot. A shot of tequila. <laughs> it's quick and to the point. <laughs> it's gonna get you where you wanna go. <laughs> if you wanna go far, get a coach. But if you just, if you just wanna go fast, stay alone. Thank you.